Ready to dominate at the plate? Blast Baseball is trusted by more major league and college teams than any other hitting solution. The Blast sensor attaches to the knob of any bat, providing real-time feedback with every swing. Go to BlastMotion.com and enter code NOWD1 at checkout to save $25. All right, everybody, it is 9 o'clock. Let's get right into it. We do this show every Monday through Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Twitter Spaces. I'm Alan Gay, and this is Now D1 Speaks. Got a big-time show tonight with a big-time prospect. We've got Jordan Tucker joining us. He's a 24 uncommitted. He's from Ohio. Hey, uh, hey, Jaden, are you there? Uh, Yeah. Hey, fantastic, man. Really looking forward to this. Why don't you introduce yourself? Maybe let us know where you go to high school gpa even how did you get into playing baseball okay uh, hi i'm jaden tucker uh i'm a 24 class i go to high school at madison mohawks i got into baseball because my uncle he was just a big inspiration to me to play baseball since i was younger so he just always inspired me to play hey man i like that your uncle kind of got you into the game so madison where what city is that at your high school uh middletown that is- middletown yeah. All right. I got gotcha. you. Uh, how about your travel ball? Who are you playing with this summer? Uh, the Sluggers. All right. And are they based out of Middletown? No, they're in Fairfield. Fairfield? Yeah. All right. Got gotcha. you. All right. Hey, uh, why don't you give us some measurements, too, like height and weight? Uh, I'm 5'10". I'm like uh, 152, I think. That's what I'm going to Okay, great. And what position do you play? And, and uh, maybe fill us in a little bit on what really what are your strengths, maybe one or two things that you're just working on. Okay. Uh, I'm an outfielder. I play everywhere in the outfield. Mainly positions is center field and left. Well, What's you your know, strengths? No, uh, my strengths are like defense-wise, speed. Speed always been a big thing. Weaknesses is just like just have that mentality. Okay, absolutely. So you're a speed guy. Yeah. All right. Do you bat at the top of the order? Yeah, usually. In the high school I was, I was usually first guy to get on base, usually for top of the lineup. Okay. I understand that, Jaden. And let me ask you something about your high school season, even though it's in the rearview mirror by at least a month now. Did you guys have a good year? Uh, our varsity team was not that good this year, but we made it far in the tournament. We made it to sectionals. Isn't that amazing? With baseball, you can kind of struggle all through the regular season and then get hot at the right time. So it sounds like at least you did put together a good postseason. Yeah. Man, that's fantastic. And the Sluggers, how many tournaments have you guys already played? About like, I want to say over 15, I want to say so far. 15, maybe less. Uh, Games? Oh, it was over, over games. Yeah, it's like over like 20. Okay. All right. Gotcha. All right. Fantastic. Hey, everybody that's joining, we certainly appreciate it. If you join late, don't worry about it. We record this space. One of the reasons we record it, we'll be able to retweet it later in its entirety. Uh, tonight, we're talking with Jaden Tucker. He's a 24, uncommitted. He's from the state of Ohio. So let me ask something, Jaden. How do you stay motivated? What is it that you're doing to kind of keep pushing yourself to get better? Uh, one thing that motivates me is to be the first person in my family to make it to college for uh, a sport. And in a long time, I just wanted to be in the big leagues like every kid wants to. It just keeps me motivated to be the first person in my family. Heck, yeah, man. Absolutely. That's a big-time goal right there. It's a big-time goal just to go to college regardless of what you're doing. But to be the first to go and to be able to participate in a sport as well would be a fantastic goal, no question. Hey, I got to believe there's been a lot of uh, memorable moments that you probably have had over the course of your career. But if you could really think about maybe one particular achievement or moment, what would it be? And then more specifically, kind of let us know what, what you learned from it. Uh, the most memorable moment is hitting my first home run. Hey, you're never going to forget that. It was just a good feeling just to have. And what I learned from it was is like just not to be overconfident about it. There's going to be more home runs the way. It's just uh, it's not to be overconfident and all that. Hey, man, that's exciting. Congratulations. When was that? Like, 
Uh, I think my freshman year. Freshman year, man, that's big time right there. Freshman year hitting one out. Yeah. Hey, well, what kind of well, was it a big game or a big moment or just kind of fill us in a little bit? How did it happen? It was it was kind of like a big moment. It was like bottom six. Uh, I think we were down by one. And I hit one out. I didn't even know I hit it out. <laughs> I was just running around. I love it, man. Just caught it on the sweet spot and was flying. Next thing you know, you won the ball game. Yeah. Hey, that's so cool. Hey, uh, one thing I probably didn't mention or didn't ask you right at the beginning when you were introducing yourself, maybe uh, fill us in on your GPA. And then what is it that you're doing to really kind of balance your academic commitments with your baseball play as well? Yeah. Uh, My GPA is like a 3.0. I think the most important part of being a student athlete is the student part because you're not going to be able to play if you're not putting more work into your student part. So I think this is more important for me be a student over athlete to play i would agree with that there's no question about it doesn't matter how good you are at baseball one day that career will end you definitely definitely need to be focused on academics so how do you balance the two though i mean like what is it that you're doing to keep up with your academic work while you're in the midst of uh, specifically during the high school season when you're in the midst of so much practice and games it's just part of being a student athlete. It's just you have to make time for the work. And you have to make time for baseball. It's just, hey, this comes with it, being an athlete. Absolutely. There's no question about it. Hey, again, everyone who's joining, thank you very much. We certainly appreciate it. I mentioned earlier that we record this space. And one of the reasons we record it, we turn it into a podcast. The podcast is Now D1 Speaks. And it is on every major platform that's out there. And what's gotten really kind of cool about it is, A lot of coaches are starting to get dialed into it. They're subscribing and they listen. And uh, I think the thing that they're probably the most interested in is what kind of athletes that are, that are, that are really focused off the field as well. They're getting an opportunity to hear from young men and what it is that they're able to achieve, not only on the field, but off the field. Hey, tonight we're talking with Jaden Tucker. He's a 24 uncommitted. He's out of the state of Ohio. And I think he's probably kind of in the middle of a tournament right now. You, you probably got a game later, a little bit later on today, don't you? Yeah, we got a double header today for uh, okay. uh, the tournament. I love it. Well, speaking of getting ready to play, what is it that you do to really prepare yourself mentally for a game? Do you have any rituals that you go through, or is there just a set routine that you like to do every time before a game? I don't have that many rituals, but like before a game, I like to put play as like my last game. Because you never know it's going to be your last game. I like to uh, listen to music during pregame to get my head focused and mentally. And I like to meditate, too, for that. Hey, that's pretty interesting. I love that attitude. The first piece that, that I really picked up on was, hey, play it like it's the last, the last game that you'll ever get to play. That's a fantastic attitude. Just lay it all out there because you really never know. And what a gift you've really been given, right, to have the physical abilities to go out and enjoy a sport that you really love. And then to throw everything you've got at it, that's a fantastic attitude right there, Jaden. And then let me ask you something. Uh, You put the headphones on and you listen to a little bit of music to kind of get yourself in the mood. What what music do you listen to? Who's your, like, go-to band? Uh, I like to listen to some country, some rap, like uh, one of the top country artists, Morgan Wallen. That's a good mental thing. Uh, rap like a uh, little baby. He's a good one too. I love it. All right. Kind of well-rounded. It depends on your mood of the day. I love that answer. And then I've got to ask you, you meditate. How, how far in advance of a game are you meditating and for how long? I like to meditate for like, uh, up to like two minutes just to get my mind focused for it. That's pretty cool. Is that like when you're in the dugout and you just tune everything out, or is that before you even get to the field? Uh, it's kind of both sometimes. Usually when I like stretch in the dugout, mainly. Okay, I got you. I like that a lot. Hey, let me ask you something. I know that you had mentioned that one of the your big time goals is to be the first person in your family to play sports while in college. Kind of talk to us a little bit more, though. Maybe a short term goal and what that long-term goal looks like. And, and when I say short-term, what's something just, just right here in front of you that you're really trying to commit to and achieve? And then really, where is it that you see yourself maybe two to five years from now? 
Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to get a couple uh, tournaments win for our team, and like just for that long term. It's I hope to see myself in college playing uh, in some college that wants me the most. I got you. I like that. So your short term goals are not even looking Edward. You're looking more toward the team and what you can do to help the team. That's pretty impressive. Anything on a short term that you just want to do for yourself? Uh, just to get myself better in the sport, make myself more physical so I can have more power for it. Okay, I got you. So you're thinking about maybe jumping in the weight room? Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's fantastic. Hey, again, everyone that's joined, thank you so much. Absolutely appreciate it. If you're uncommitted and you're a 24 or 25 or junior college and this is an environment that you'd like to be a part of, maybe get some extra exposure, be heard, please reach out to me. I'm on Twitter. I'm at now underscore D1. I will tell you that our July is booked up, but we are scheduling for August. And the plan is really to run this through the rest of the summer and into the fall. So please feel free to reach out to me and I'm sure we can schedule something. Hey, tonight we're talking with uh, Jaden Tucker. He's a 24. He's uncommitted. He's an outfielder, and uh, he's out of the state of Ohio. So talk to us a little bit about your recruiting process and maybe where you are in, in regards to recruiting. If you're just starting out, maybe you've been to a couple of camps, if you're sending emails, or if anyone's even contacted you yet. And then really, what is it that you're looking for in a potential college? You know, And when I say that, you know, maybe outside of just sports, but if you're thinking, do you want to be at a large state school? Would you prefer maybe a smaller private school? Would I, if you really had your choice and could do anything you wanted, would you want to go out of state? I mean, just kind of give us a feel for the environment as well. Uh, yeah, I would like to uh, – the colleges I'm looking for, it's just like the colleges is once me the most. Uh, but – Academics wise and big in the sports program, I like to go there too. Okay. Uh, speaking of academics, have you considered potential majors? Uh, yeah. Uh, I like to do focus in like uh, criminal justice. I like to be a detective if uh, my plan A don't fall in line. Oh, hey, I like that. That's pretty cool. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, let me ask you something. Maybe we can kind of wrap it up here, uh, uh, Caden. If uh, if you could give advice to maybe a younger athlete or so that was really thinking, man, I've got a big – I love baseball, and I'd really like to make a future out of it. W what kind of advice would you give him or her? Uh, just to don't give up. Play like it's your last game and uh, play like yourself. I think you'll be go farther in life if you just play like yourself and you have more fun in the game. No question, man. I think I'd even throw in there, play, play every game like it's your last game. I think that's a great quote and a great motto, man. That was outstanding. I hope you've enjoyed the, a little bit of time that we've been able to, to spend together. I know I've enjoyed getting to know you a little bit better. Yeah, you too. Well, fantastic, man. I'm glad you were part of the show. I will tell you, tomorrow night we've got Joey Myers coming on. Joey's a former Division I player. He's now a hitting coach. Uh, he runs Hit Performance Lab. I mean, he's got a fantastic career. He's written a couple of books. He's got a great website. His tutorials are unbelievable. He really has a lot to offer, not only from his playing days, but really what he's kind of seen on the other side, too, and how he's helping, helping out guys. So I would suggest if, uh, if you're really into to, uh, hitting and wanting to know, one of the cool things that he does it's kind of the scientific approach to hitting. He's got a unique approach. So I would say tune in tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, and uh, Joey Myers with Hit Performance Labs is going to be on. Hey, Caden, again, thank you so much. I mean, excuse me, Jaden, thank you again so much for being on. Absolutely appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. It's, it was an honor to be on here. Well, fantastic. All right, everybody, we're going to end, end it here tonight. Thank you. Hey, let me ask you something. Are you ready to dominate at the plate this season? Blast Baseball is the number one hitting improvement solution, trusted by more major league, college, and travel ball teams than any other. The Blast sensor attaches to the knob of any bat, providing real-time feedback with every swing. Metrics are automatically sent to a smartphone app, generating insights that allow you to analyze and improve your hitting like never before. Go to BlastMotion.com and enter code NOWD1 and you will save $25 at checkout. Unlock your potential with Blast.